Hey everybody, Dustin Briley here with Briley Brothers. Today we are in Mesa, Arizona, and we're gonna take a look at this four bedroom, three bathroom, single family home. So this home is 2,151 square feet. The lot is 6,250 square feet. It has a two car garage. It's in Mesa, specifically in the community of Eastmark. And Eastmark is known for the kind of uh, community feel that the, the, the uh, neighborhood brings. And so what that kind of means is there's gonna be a clubhouse, multiple pools, hot tubs, there's even a Starbucks, and then there's a restaurant. And so there's gonna be tons to do uh, for anyone at really any age level. Here's a shot of the neighborhood. What's also nice about this area is it's just minutes away from Bellbank Park, which is the new, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's kind of everything. What it's known for is it has more turf than anywhere in the United States. Uh, so I think there's 22 turf soccer fields. There's gonna be beach volleyball, indoor volleyball, basketball, softball, pickleball, really anything you can imagine. I think there's a zip line, there's a restaurant. It's pretty amazing. The cross streets are gonna be Ellsworth and Elliot on this house. And it's listed at $565,000. All right, so when you come in, you're gonna be greeted with a couple options. We're gonna take a right. And you're gonna see over here, there is two bedrooms. You notice right away that the ceilings are nice and tall. These are probably nine or 10 feet tall. The doors are eight feet. So yeah, it looks like the ceilings are probably nine feet and the upgraded doors being eight foot. And you can always tell by looking at four hinges. See the four hinges? That's how you tell that it's a taller door than normal. A normal door would have three. So across from that, we have bedroom number two. The house has blinds throughout. And then these two bedrooms are gonna share this bathroom right here. It's got the bathtub, shower combination, the gray shaker cabinets. So, so far the bedrooms are carpet and then the uh, main living area is this wood looking tile that everybody likes. The walls are gonna be a nice bright white. Over here we have a closet. And then here we have a two car garage. You might even technically have to look. I don't, no, you're not gonna be able to fit three. So it's, it looks like it's like two and a half. It's a large, you know, a large two, two and a half car garage. It feels very large. It feels like there's room for a golf cart and two cars. And over here, we come into the main kitchen family room area, and then you can go left to the oversized laundry room, and then straight into here to this would be a great teen suite or maybe mother-in-law apartment. So this is nice because there's a bedroom in here and this kind of main living area. And then it's almost like it's designed right here to put a little kitchenette because it's got its own bathroom right here. And then it also has a bedroom this is a great setup right here. You almost, I was looking at it, you could almost punch a hole right there in this wall that I'm facing and that would go into the garage, into that half bay part of the garage. So it's, you could almost, you know, make it feel very private if you had someone that you needed to, you know, a mother-in-law or someone that you wanted to put in there to give them some more privacy. Kitchen has these beautiful white quartz countertops, white shaker cabinets with crown molding, and then stainless steel appliances. 
looks like we have gas stove, gas cooktop, and then we have subway tile backsplash, and then a little walk-in closet, sorry, walk-in pantry. Very large room, plenty of room for a table and uh, your living furniture, living room furniture. And over here on its own. Primary bedroom. So very private over here. And you've got the closet, the walk-in closet. And then the primary bathroom, which they did the subway tile. Got the separate shower bathtub combination. Nice big deep soaking tub. And the views of the back patio if you like. If you like that. And then the two sinks with the gray shaker cabinets like the other bathroom. So back here we have a covered patio. The uh, block wall is taller than normal. Let's go see. So this wall is probably eight foot tall. And then the side ones are just kind of the standard six feet. From the windows right here to the back walls, about 14 feet. Um, so I'm not sure if there's enough room for a pool. If, if you were gonna put something in, it might be a hot tub or a small pool. Sorry about the dog. Very pretty house. Got a lot of options with this house. Well, if you enjoy this type of content, we shoot one to two of these a day. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And if you need help buying or selling, let us know. We'd love to help you out. Our contact information is down in the description. My brother and I are in the top 1% of all realtors here in the Valley, which means we sell a lot of properties and we'd love to help you with your next real estate endeavor. So get a hold of us. And uh, if you've got value out of today's video, hit that thumbs up button and let us know we're doing a good job. We really appreciate it. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.